Good morning class. Today I will tell you about some editing tools of word processor that is MS Word. So let's start with it. Today we will discuss undo, redo, checking spelling and grammar tool, autocorrect, thesaurus, find and replace. So first is undo. Undo tool helps you to reverse the accidental action. The shortcut key for undo is Ctrl plus Z. Or we can use in this quick access toolbar this icon represents undo. Okay, we can use this icon also. So now for example, I am selecting this word him and I am pressing delete button from the keyboard. Now see it is invisible. But if I want to undo it or if I don't want to delete it, I can go to this icon which is representing undo tool or I can press Control plus Z shortcut key. So I am pressing this icon C. It is visible again. It means this action has been undone. Now similarly redo the work of redo is it redoes an action that has been undone and the shortcut key is control plus Y. Now if I want to redo this uh, cut operation which I have performed or delete operation I, I want to redo it then I can press control plus Y or in this quick access toolbar I'll click on this icon which is representing redo tool. So I'm clicking on this see again it has disappeared so it means the redo action has performed now again if I want to undo it again I'll click here see it is visible again in this way undo and redo tool works the next is checking spelling and grammar tool the shortcut key for this is F7 spelling and grammar tool highlights the misspelled and grammatically incorrect text. As I've told you in the PPT, it uses three color indicators that is red, blue and green. For example, I've written three statements. So we'll do it one by one. First is I know him. Here it is showing blue wavy line which means which type of error it is? It is a contextual error. In the second statement, see, this is a chair. The spelling of chair is wrong and it is showing with a red wavy line. So this is a spelling mistake. In the third statement, it were raining outside. It is showing with green wavy lines. It means it is a grammatical error. So let's correct these errors. So for this, click here, right click here and go to spelling or another way is go to the review tab then in this this is a group proofing is the name of the group in the proofing group we have this option spelling and grammar or we can use F7 shortcut key also so click on this now you can see this error is showing and we have in the suggestion list K N O W no so as it is a correct suggestion so we'll click on change now the next it is showing the spelling of chair and we have the suggestions C H A I R E D chaired C H A I R chair and so on so I'm selecting the right spelling chair and click on change and the third correction it, it is written were but it should be was so now again click on the um, I button change and close it. Now you can see I know him. This is the correct statement. This is a chair. This is a correct statement. It was raining outside. It is also a correct statement. Now there is no correction. All the correct state, uh, statements are in their correct form. Okay.